What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Brian from Den of Heat. If you followed us from over on Instagram on our sneaker page, thank you very much. We are happy to finally extend uh, this kind of content onto YouTube and we're looking forward to this, uh, this new journey that we're going to be doing on YouTube. Now, this won't solely just be uh, sneaker content. We are still going to be doing sneaker content, but I think we're going to go ahead and include a much more bigger projects of sneakers on YouTube rather than Instagram. On Instagram, you'll probably see more unboxings first there rather than on here on YouTube. Um, because I do want to showcase and uh, kind of bring a little bit of diversity in content in terms of like uh, gaming and car content and then still sneaker content. But again, we'll probably do uh, you know bigger projects on here. And if I do see that people want to you know see those things a little bit more separated then what i'll probably do is create other channels and stuff like that and um put car content gaming content and then sneaker content on all the different one and then i'll probably do something still with this channel i'll probably still do the same thing but not as much and i'll try to you know diverse it but we'll see how this first goes you know diversifying uh this channel first and then uh if people want something else you know if they you know we want to create different channels and i'll probably go on and do that but today i want to go and show you guys the three things that i want to focus on this channel which first things first is gaming content uh now you guys won't see anything yet of that until way later on but i you know i have my gaming rig right here uh, so i want to go ahead and show you guys what you guys can see in the very near future so here we go okay so this is my 600 dollar uh, gaming rig right here this is my gaming pc and this is something that i just bought off real quick off of a uh, facebook marketplace because at the time when i bought this i had nothing of a pc nothing uh of a laptop nothing i had absolutely nothing uh the laptop that i had previously wasn't good enough for gaming it was really bad um and so that's why i had to get a full-on desktop right here i do need to get a laptop eventually so whenever i'm like on the go and i want to record something and i need to edit something I hopefully will have a laptop with me but this right here only has a simple GeForce GTX 760 two 8 gigabytes of RAM right here so it makes uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM overall the motherboard is really old I don't know if you guys can see the color of it but right there like it's basically green it's super old it's nothing special at all I don't know exactly what it is not even the the PC knows because I can't even find that information uh, and also what I am rocking here I'll show you guys a very cheap 250 uh, 250 gigabytes hard drive there we go sorry and uh, it's does its job I mean I'm not playing something super hardcore also there's the Fast and Furious movie I've been I also have like a separate DVD player over here for my PC because I don't have one in there uh, and also um, let's see what else my Wi-Fi connector right here for the downstairs uh, router we have but basically i'm just playing really simple games like left 4 dead left 4 dead 2 and team fortress 2 and gary's mod which really surprised about this game in particular because it still has a very strong player base going which is pretty insane and also a little bit every now and again if i feel creative um minecraft down here so yeah that's really about it that's really about it with my pc it's nothing too special like i said i bought it off real quick from facebook marketplace when i had the money so i mean like i said i had nothing i literally had a busted ass laptop and i had to get something real quick so that's why i had to get something super cheap off of fb marketplace now like i said hopefully or if i haven't said it i am actually gonna uh, go ahead and upgrade the hell out of this thing i'm hoping to fit in uh and really get rid of that motherboard it's really really bad it's just it only can hold two sticks so i'm hoping i can fit up to like maybe uh 32 gigabytes of ram in there eventually but not for sure exactly yet um we'll see how that goes and new graphics card new motherboard new uh, memory sticks new hard drive mostly an ssd and possibly a new power supply as well because it definitely needs one and um you know and a new cpu obviously but um i just want to keep the case because it's still in pretty good condition and it's pretty dope it's minimalistic i don't need nothing super special within the chassis so yeah i mean it's great so far but i definitely need some upgrades but anyways on to den of heat okay as you guys already know i have a sneaker business den of heat and it's been mostly on instagram for quite some time i have to use the flash because this obviously is a dark corner and i have all the extra boxes over there that i used from getting all this stuff from uh nike sneakers full locker or wherever i got it offline and stuff like that so uh as you guys can see i still have some adapts over here and what i'm thinking about doing with a lot of this inventory that i still have is 
possibly even getting rid of it entirely because I want to kind of start over and do some other stuff. I still even have this old gem right here. The Raging Bull 5s right there. I think I still have... No, I actually only have one more pair left. And then Georgetown's and then Fire Red 3s. Jordan 7 Flint's over there. Uh, some 13s and some like 1 Heritage's at the very bottom. Air Force 1s, the Infrared Nike uh, Air Max 90s. Um, see right here, I have some Dunk Highs right here. I have these joints right there. Uh, Nike React Element 55s right here. You know, I have quite a few shoes that are still from way back when. Uh, and also some Yeezys, but these are probably like the last two pairs I got of Yeezys before everything fell apart between Kanye and Adidas. It was crazy. Nike Zakai's, Carmine Sixes right here actually uh, from 2021, I believe is whenever they re released. So right there, some 11s. These are the 11 low, pure violets in the women's sizes, and then cool grays, Billie Eilish, and then DJ Khaled Five. So. Yeah, quite a bit of inventory. Okay, I apologize first if the mic quality doesn't sound as good. I have a really crappy mic that I bought from Best Buy that I have to be carrying around and I don't have anything to attach it to my phone. So I'm just going off the regular microphone from the phone. But as you guys saw, quite a bit of inventory still. Some of the same stuff that I bought uh, like two years ago. And like I said, I'm thinking about switching from quick flips to holding sneakers and letting the price rise and then selling them to like sneaker stores instead. Uh, some because that was originally the plan that was originally what I wanted to do with this whole entire sneaker business And I don't know why I got into quick flips. I mean, it's been a really rough uh, Last couple of years doing it. I mean mostly during the pandemic. It was a lot more easier But I mean now that everything's going back to normal really uh, It's been a little bit tougher, you know doing quick flips and plus I've been trying to find uh, Like stores that do consignment, but that have a really nice, you know price and consignment because a lot of the times uh, I've been finding stores in KC that are not that great in consignment or are just not willing to consign So and I did find one in particular So hopefully it works out well and they're in a mall So I know their overheads pretty insane. So hopefully it kind of helps me out uh, in selling these ones at least but um, In terms of like doing quick flips I'm probably gonna go ahead and switch to holds But we'll see where that leads and I'll leave that for a different video some other day But anyways uh, enough about sneakers on to my car. Here we go just a quick heads up, it's not necessarily the cleanest right now, but hopefully the daylight kind of helps a little bit. Uh, I'll address a few little issues with the car that I've had over the last year that I've bought it um, since almost exactly a year ago. It's about to be an entire year. Uh, January 22nd, I believe, is when I bought it. Uh, it was a fun year with this car, but let's go and jump onto it. So this is my Subaru Impreza WRX 2005. It is a very, very fun car to drive. All-wheel drive as well. Uh, I put new tires on it. That was also one of the very first issues that I had with it is that all four tires were different, which I will like to discuss about that in particular in a later video about some issues, uh, some do's and don'ts when buying a Subaru. So can't wait for that video. Look forward to that because it's going to be a good one. Um, and also some other issues that I did have was uh, I want to say while well, driving it in rough terrain doing DoorDash and uh, UPS PVD stuff My side skirt right here fell off and you guys can see the holes where the plastic clips were holding up the uh, the side skirt on the other side I do have it on still <laughs> But uh, obviously as you guys can see right there. There's the side skirt. The other one doesn't have it uh, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't have a license plate in the front. I just like the look of a clean bumper like that rather than, you know, having both plates on there. So I like it. I mean, it's a fun little car. It does have a nice little spoiler in the back over here. It's super simple. It's a stock spoiler. Nothing special. Stock rims. This car is completely stock. The reason why I bought it like that is because, uh, well, actually, I'll do that in the same do's and don'ts of buying a Subaru. But um, I just wanted to keep it simple for now. I didn't want to buy something that I didn't know uh how to fix or something like that so it's just completely stock and um i love it the hood scoop makes it look even more aggressive and um you know the wide body i just i like it i mean overall it's a it's a great car i mean during these cold times it is quite reliable but the rough terrain did rough it up a little bit especially with those tires and made things even worse but overall great car and i can't wait to talk about it a little bit more so this car has been through hell and back with some of the jobs that I've taken it on. It did get a break from DoorDash and then finally I went on to UPS for a little bit. Uh, however, that was just a seasonal job. So right now I'm currently in between jobs looking at different places uh, right now. But I said I took the time to finally start this journey with YouTube 
and hopefully you know it pays off eventually but um especially with this car it was a bit of a nightmare doing those delivery jobs and something that i can't wait to talk about because it's going to be like more of a you know a separate video again there's just a lot of ideas that are running through my head for video content and this is one of them just do's and don'ts when doing delivery jobs and uh just overall some of the experience that i've had uh with it you know and i can't wait to talk about that but yeah no it was a there was a slight break and you know the tires lasted a little bit longer now the only thing the only issue that i do truly have that i hate and i'm really needing to get this fixed before uh hopefully may is still cold enough but i don't have ac in the car so it is a pain in the ass to uh you know have that especially since i um I mean, it, it gets hot where I live at. It gets insanely hot. So I definitely got to take care of that very soon. But anyways, let's head back home to end the video off. Finally back home. Thank you guys very much for sticking to the end. Uh, I know it was probably a lot, but like I said, I really want to diversify this journey on YouTube now. And I'm really excited. I, I really am excited about this. And hopefully you guys are excited as I am because I've always had a, a vision of doing this stuff. However, um i never had a proper plan like i do now so i'm very much looking forward to this and i can't wait for you guys to see the content that i'm going to bring and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, as you guys saw uh, even on like the gaming content it still has a lot of classic games from way back then so hopefully like i said i could bring a sense of nostalgia and the same thing goes with the car stuff and the sneaker stuff hopefully i could bring a sense of nostalgia of what sneaker youtube back then used to be car content car content back then and then also gaming content from back then so hopefully everything works out now again uh let me know if it's you know something that you guys want to see in terms of like uh either separating this stuff into different channels or uh keeping it all on here personally i would love to keep it all on here uh just make it simply because it makes it more easier uh it makes it more you know uh organized in a sense and i know how to keep everything organized uh, especially on one single channel but you know ultimately you know I also do care about what you guys think in terms of like uh, what approach I should take now in terms of content like I said I'm gonna go ahead and just you know sail the ship like that I'm gonna just go ahead and you know think of ideas and stuff like that and uh, I'm looking forward to this it's gonna be a lot of fun but anyways uh, thank you very much for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys very very soon have a good one peace